Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today for our webinar presentation on cross-country rail vacations with Amtrak vacations. We're going to be taking a whistle-stop tour across America and looking at some of the great itineraries that we have to enable you to experience and enjoy the highlight destinations across the great United States, including the U.S. national parks and several of the great cities with packages and itineraries and getaways that enable you to get into these wonderful places right now this summer in 2021 where so many other destinations worldwide outside of the U.S. borders are still um, closed to American travelers. We have such wonderful ideas, options, vacation packages to talk to you about today. My name is Chris David. I'm going to be your host for the webinar. We'll be together for about a half an hour up to 45 minutes or perhaps a little longer, depending on how many questions we have at the end of the presentation. My role within our company actually is the Vice President of Sales for Canada for Amtrak Vacations and our sister brand, Railbookers. And I'm kind of guest hosting the webinar today from my home base up here uh, north of the border in Toronto, Canada. To get things started, let's take a quick look at what we're going to be covering, uh, an overview of the webinar. First off, some details, some tips and information, important information about rail travel and about Amtrak. We'll look at the various types of accommodation on board, ranging from coach to the sleeper accommodations in uh, roomettes and bedrooms. We'll also, well, the main focus today really is going to be the itineraries, the destinations, looking in depth at some of the U.S. national parks and the most popular getaways for experiencing and exploring the U.S. going across country on the train. Um, also, and very importantly, I'll be letting you know about the aspect of Amtrak vacations, which enables you to customize your trip, starting or ending your trip in any rail station that Amtrak has. Uh, uh, which, give, which allows you to, to commence your, your trip right from home and do it as a no-fly vacation, boarding the train in a nearby station to where you live. Also, uh, and very important at this point in time, we'll be looking at some of those new policies and procedures and protocols that Amtrak has implemented to ensure that it's safe to ride the rails and to provide you with peace of mind, given that we're still kind of in a, in uh, a pandemic situation with several of the health and safety guidelines still in place. But before we get into all that, let me give you a quick introduction to our company. We're called the Yankee Leisure Group. That actually is the name of the corporate parent for Amtrak Vacations. It's not a brand that you'll see in the marketplace. Out there, you will find two of our brands, Amtrak Vacations and Railbookers. We actually are the official tour operator for Amtrak, so we partner with Amtrak to provide all of the vacation packages and itineraries into the U.S. national parks and other highlight destinations throughout the lower 48 U.S. states. Our other brand is Railbookers, and that will be your go-to provider for any kind of rail travel ideas, rail travel uh, options anywhere in the world. We work with the uh, European train companies to provide a large portfolio of rail vacations spanning the entire European continent from Portugal to Poland and everywhere in between, including Scandinavia and Russia. Here in Canada, we work with Via Rail. We've got a selection of train vacations going across Canada, going into the Canadian Rockies and in Eastern Canada as well. And then there's Alaska, which is the other really significant highlight destination for rail bookers. Alaska, as you may know, doesn't have Amtrak. Amtrak only serves the lower 48 U.S. states. Up in Alaska, you have, Am you have the Alaska Railroad. We partner with Alaska Railroad to provide a wonderful selection of train vacations featuring all the highlight destinations uh, on the Alaska Railroad route between Fairbanks and Seward in the south, Denali National Park, Kenai Fjords National Park, uh, Talkeetna, allowing you to do all of those wonderful Alaskan adventures like dog sledding and, of course, exploring Denali National Park in depth. Also with rail bookers, you'll find a great selection of luxury trains, all of those iconic, famous luxury trains you may have heard about, like the Orient Express, 
the Golden Eagle, Trans-Siberian Express, the Blue Train, the GAN and India Pacific in Australia, all of these great famous trains we work closely with and we can provide uh, vacation packages for through rail bookers. Let's start things off today by taking a look at the Amtrak network throughout the US. Amtrak covers 46 of the 48 uh, of the lower 48 US states, only excluding South Dakota and Wyoming. Um, if Amtrak was an airline, by the way, it would be the sixth largest in the US, carrying on average over 30 million passengers a year. Amtrak has stationed has 500 stations throughout the country. So anywhere you live, um, you can start your vacation from a nearby station that Amtrak uh, services. All of the packages, the itineraries we're gonna look at today may have a specific start st city as shown on the website or in our brochures or in the uh, slides that I'll be showing to you. But bear in mind, if the trip starts in Chicago, you can always modify or customize that itinerary to start from your home city, be it St. Louis, Indianapolis, Kansas City, or anywhere in the nearby vicinity. Amtrak has adopted a whole policy, a whole new range of policies and procedures to make sure that it's safe to travel by train. Mask wearing is required for passengers and staff on board at the, at the moment. These policies and uh, guidelines are changing all the time given the situation with the coronavirus. At the moment, masks are required only in the economy carriages, in the public areas, the dining cars, the lounge cars and observation cars. If you are booked in some form of sleeping accommodation on the train, a roommate or a bedroom in the privacy of your own compartment, naturally you can remove your face covering. Also, Amtrak is operating all of its routes on a limited capacity at the moment, in many cases 50%, meaning every other seat in the economy carriages are blocked off and what that translates to for you is the peace of mind of knowing that there's lots of distance in between all the passengers on board to ensure those minimum social distancing guidelines are being maintained. Of course, everything's gone touchless as well. No tickets, no cash changing hands, so you can be assured that uh, you know there's no paper that's being passed around on the trains, which is obviously uh, limiting uh, an important means of uh, of of uh, a potentially uh, contagious um, uh, paper items being being shared on board the trains at Amtrak vacations we have the unique ability to book the the train two years in advance of travel why this is significant for you is at the moment we're in a situation where we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel but people over the coming months are gonna be able to book with confidence on uh, trips throughout the United States into 2022 and 2023. Uh, all, the, all the vacations we're gonna be talking about, about today, by the way, are available for booking in 2021. But as things open up even further, we're gonna see all of that pent up demand coming into play, resulting in price increases for hotels, for the rail segments and for all the packages we're discussing. So the ability to book in advance right up into the first half of 2023 really represents an opportunity for you to make sure that you get the best possible price for your future travel. Also at Amtrak Vacations, we enable you to book last minute for US national parks and other very, very popular destinations. Again, all the parks we'll be looking at today are open for business and available for, for exploring this year in 2021 and we hold space we have rooms and allocations reserved in a lot of those um, very popular and um, in demand national park lodge accommodation so you can book last minute and uh, we can have you in destination as soon as a few days from now or up to two years in advance there are so many reasons why passengers enjoy working with Amtrak vacations and I want to just share a few of these with you. Firstly, we are an expert provider with rail travel. Our uh, res agents, we refer to them as rail experts, have access through our uh, back-end systems, through our connections with our rail partners, have access to rail segments on train networks around the world. 
in the US with Amtrak, in Canada with Via Rail, in Europe with all of the rail operators, they'll be able to book any kind of rail segment that you need, advising you on those tricky things like how many trains per day between this and that destination, like the routes, the schedules, the timetables, how to figure all that out, put it in an itinerary and book it for you in real time, even if it's two years in advance. Also, we have the flexibility to be able to put together a custom itinerary based on any rail uh, segments that you need or customize any of our packages, adding or removing destinations to suit your specific requirements. We have a huge selection of product ranging from US national park trips, US city getaways, uh, rail journeys across Canada throughout Europe, also including luxury trains, as we mentioned, like the famous Orient Express, which is a very, very, um, very close partner of ours. When it comes to rail travel, what is difficult and complicated for others is easy for us at Amtrak Vacations. <clears throat> As you'll see, if you, uh, if you call us to take care of any kind of rail-related vacation travel that you may have in mind. At the moment, we have in market a fantastic promotion called Pick Your Perk, which gives you up to $500 per couple towards any upgrade that you might want to incorporate into your trip. Many people right now thinking about their next trip, I think in, in most cases, uh, if you're traveling in the summer of 2021, it's going to be your first big trip, your first travel adventure uh, since COVID. Many people want to enhance that and make sure that they incorporate a little, little bit of luxury and treat themselves to some, some neat upgrades. With Pick Your Perk, you get that 500 per couple that you can use to upgrade your room in the hotel, perhaps a suite. Maybe you want to upgrade your hotel. We give you the ability to do that at Amtrak Vacations, customizing between three, four, and five star option, options in every city along the route. So again, you can use your pick your perk uh, towards, uh, towards an upgrade of the hotel itself or adding any kind of sightseeing experiences or excursions into your trip. With Amtrak Vacations, everything can be customized. You can add additional destinations into the itinerary. If you look at that package and you think I might want to spend a few less nights here, a few more nights there, we can absolutely customize in that way to meet your, your needs. As we mentioned earlier, with those 500 stations throughout the country, you can also customize by routing the itinerary to start or end in your hometown. Of course, you can also opt for various levels of accommodation on board the trains, ranging between coach, roomette or bedroom accommodation. We'll talk a little bit more about those a little bit later in the presentation. And of course, when it comes to sightseeing, you can add any kind of experience that you may be interested in in any of the destinations you're visiting. With those preliminaries out of the way and having told you a little bit about train travel and Amtrak vacations, let's dive in and look at some of the great cross-country itineraries that we're featuring today, starting with the Northern Rail Experience, which is a journey that starts in Washington, D.C., travels on the Empire Builder train via Chicago all the way over to Seattle through the northern Rocky Mountains of Montana, spends some time in San Francisco, and then returns to D.C. on the California Zephyr train. This trip will give you the opportunity to take in some of the sights and highlights of Washington while there. Of course, you should take time to stroll the Capitol Mall and check out some of the incredible free museums available uh, on the mall, the Smithsonian Museums, in, including the Air and Space Museum, the incredible new uh, um, American Art Museum, um, the, museum the African History Museum, as well as the great patriotic monuments throughout Washington, the presidential monuments like the Jefferson, uh, Lincoln and Washington memorials, as well as the fantastic, uh, relatively new, um, Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. When in Washington, we actually include as part of this itinerary um, admission to the Spy Museum, which is one of the most popular attractions in Washington and a fantastic place to visit, as well as a hop on hop off tour, which will get you around to explore at your leisure on your own time, all of the sites and attractions and highlights of DC. In Seattle, you will have one night's hotel accommodation included in the itinerary, and why not take the opportunity to upgrade to a fantastic five-star property like the award-winning Crown Plaza Hotel Seattle Downtown, 
which is an exceptional blend of service, style and comfort right there in the heart of downtown, located just less than a mile from the Amtrak station. You'll have two nights in San Francisco and a chance to explore there with lots of included activities and sightseeing. You'll have your San Francisco hop-on, hop-off sightseeing pass, which again allows you to explore at leisure, uh, going to all the highlight areas, the main attractions of the city, Fisherman's Wharf, the Golden Gate Bridge, Golden Gate Park, and many more. You can hop on and hop off at will, spending as much time as you want in each of those destinations. Also included while you're in San Francisco, you will have a trip to Muir Woods to see the incredible old growth redwoods. You'll also have uh, a visit to Sausalito, uh, a wonderful, charming town on the San Francisco Bay and a bay cruise as well. So all in all, a fantastic way to take in all the highlights that San Francisco has to offer and free time to enjoy and soak up the atmosphere of the two great cities of the Pacific North, Northwest, San Fran and Seattle, as well as five nights on board the train. Uh, overnight travel on the train with Amtrak is an incredible experience. It's an adventure uh, like no other. And this is a great way to take in two of the most scenic journeys that uh, Amtrak has going across the country the California Zephyr that goes through the Rocky Mountains. Uh, the stretch between Moab, Utah, and Denver is one of the most scenic stretches of rail in the entire United States. And you're also traveling on the Empire Builder train, which uh, is the first leg from Chicago out to Seattle through magnificent scenery in the northern Rocky Mountains. The next of the packages I want to focus on today is the Glacier National Park Getaway. We're presenting this as a getaway without any rail transportation attached. The reason being that this is one of the most popular national park destinations in the US and it's the most popular for us at Amtrak Vacations because it is so conveniently accessible by rail with a train station right within the boundaries of the park itself. So you can travel into Glacier National Park from wherever you live throughout the US by just adding your rail connection to the uh, National Park Getaway Package. While there, you'll have three nights at the Glacier Park Lodge. You'll have an included uh, tour throughout the park on the Going to the Sun Road. Glacier National Park um, dates back to the early days of the National Park Service. And the National Park Rangers conduct these excursions on the Going to the Sun Road, featuring all the scenic outlooks and highlight attractions throughout the park in those incredible uh, historic red jammer buses dating back to the 1930s. It's an open roof vehicle and it gives you a wonderful sense of the history and the unique atmosphere of this amazing national park destination. So this package is short four day package, combine it with rail uh, connection from wherever you may live and it includes your big sky circle tour in the red jammer bus, your cruise on two Medicine Lake and your wonderful accommodation right there in the heart of Glacier at Glacier Park Lodge. The next of the packages features one of the wonders of the world, the Grand Canyon. If it's not already, uh, if you haven't already been to the, to the Grand Canyon, it's probably very high on your bucket list as it is for most travelers in the US and indeed other countries around the world. Truly one of the most spectacular natural places that you can find or that you can visit anywhere and we have many packages at Amtrak Vacations featuring the Grand Canyon. But what I want to mention today is the Grand Canyon getaway round trip from Chicago, which gives you an ability to take the train, travel overnight uh, on the Southwest Chief Train, which is another of Amtrak's fantastic scenic journeys through the red rock scenery of New Mexico and Arizona into the Grand Canyon. It gives you that ability to just have a short visit at the canyon, take in uh, the the wonderful sights, the incredible nature of the Grand Canyon before returning uh, back east out to Chicago. The way that you access the canyon itself is on the Grand Canyon Railroad. So you'll travel on Amtrak from Chicago on the Southwest Chief into Flagstaff, Arizona. From Flagstaff, it's a short road transfer up to Williams, Arizona on Route 66, which is a charming town known to be the uh, the base, the jumping off point for exploring the Grand Canyon. From Williams, 
you board the Grand Canyon Railroad, which is a two hour journey right up to the south rim of the canyon. And this is an adventure and experience in and of itself. On board, you'll be entertained by authentic characters and musicians who bring the old west to life. The Grand Canyon Railroad is really designed to showcase the unique, unique atmosphere and give you a sense of the, uh, the environment and the spirit of the old west. At the south rim of the Grand Canyon, you'll be staying in the historic village, which also is a destination in and of itself. Lots of historic buildings and all kinds of interesting things to explore in the historic village on the South Rim. It dates back to the early 20th century when the Grand Canyon was just becoming recognized and really starting to, um, to boom as a destination for tourism. At the South Rim, why not opt to stay at the El Tavar, which is which is the most stylish, uh, the most elegant property uh, in the historic village. It was opened in 1905, and at that time was considered the most elegant hotel west of the Mississippi, and it still holds that status and that reputation as the best address on the south rim of the canyon. We hold space, by the way. We have room allocations in the El Tavar and other lodges, which is in great demand. As you can imagine, so many people, millions and millions of people, each year traveling into Grand Canyon National Park. Everybody wants to stay right there. From the El Tavar, you can literally throw a pebble from the balcony of your room right into the canyon itself. You couldn't be better situated. And so if you're booking particularly last minute to travel this summer in 2021, it can be hard to get space. At Amtrak Vacations, we hold allocations of rooms so we will be able to get you in. So here, there you have it for the Grand Canyon getaway. You're traveling on the Southwest Chief train overnight in each direction uh, from Chicago. And you have your three nights between Williams and the South Rim to take in the highlights of the Grand Canyon with your included Grand Canyon uh, Freedom Tour, which will uh, go along the South Rim with the National Park Ranger telling you all about the history, the geology, and the incredible um, nature that you're witnessing at the Grand Canyon. By the way, if you wanted to extend this trip with additional nights uh, at the canyon to see the sun rise and set over that magnificent vista a few more times, we can absolutely do that. These packages can all be customized based on your duration, your budget, and exactly what you have in mind for your experience. Then there's the Grand National Parks trips that we have at Amtrak Vacations. We have several of these itineraries which feature a collection of iconic national park destinations in one incredible trip. Now, these are a fantastic alternative if you had considered traveling abroad this summer. Perhaps you had a trip in mind to Alaska or to on a cruise or to Europe, going on a cruise or a river cruise or a tour, and you find yourself this summer in 2021 not able to proceed with those kind of plans that you had in mind because of the restrictions still in place. Fortunately, in the U.S., there are so many wonderful, incredible destinations to explore, particularly uh, the national parks of the American West. And a package like this, it's a 15-day itinerary. It takes in three incredible, iconic national park destinations. You have city uh, sightseeing and overnight visits in Seattle, San Francisco, and Salt Lake City. So all in all, a fantastic way to spend a couple of weeks traveling domestically and exploring the wonders of your own backyard in the United States. Included, you will have a visit to Yellowstone. Yellowstone, by the way, is the world's first national park created by an act signed into law by, can you guess which president it was? President Ulysses S. Grant in 1872. Uh, at Yosemite, you'll be picked up from your national park lodge accommodation for a journey through the National Park. On the way, your guide will provide amazing insights into the park, those incredible geological formations and wonders, the geysers, the mud pots. Um, you'll go past the highlight attractions like Old Faithful, of course, Mammoth Hot Springs, Hayden Valley, and Yellowstone Lake as part of your tour through Yellowstone National Park. By the way, Yellowstone is not directly accessible by train. We saw in the beginning Amtrak does not actually go to Wyoming. Wyoming and North Dakota, the only two states Amtrak does not venture into. 
So when you're exploring Yellowstone, you're doing so uh, by means of a road transfer from Salt Lake City. The train, uh, you will debark the train in Salt Lake City, have an overnight there, then travel in a luxury motor coach from Salt Lake up to Yellowstone, where you will have your included sightseeing excursion before returning by road back down to Salt Lake to continue onto the next leg of your journey, which will take you into San Francisco, which will be your base for your visit to Yosemite National Park. Again, it's an excursion by road from San Fran up to Yosemite, which honestly is one of the most beautiful places that you'll find anywhere in the world. A place of wide open meadows, bold mountains, granite cliffs, um, fantastic waterfalls. Yellowstone is famous for waterfalls. Here you'll have, in addition to a tour that takes you to all the main attractions throughout Yosemite, you'll have time to wander along the trails, the hiking trails and the paths that can take you up to the base of some of those uh, famous waterfalls and an opportunity just to breathe in the fresh, clean Sierra Nevada mountain there as you take in all the sites of the park before returning to San Francisco, where you will have an overnight, then proceeding on to the next leg of your journey. You'll visit Glacier National Park in the Northern Rockies of Montana again, and have that included um, tour on the going to the Sun Road in one of those red jammer buses. By the way, accommodation in Glacier National Park is right in the heart of the park at Glacier Park Lodge, which happens to be located 209 steps from the Amtrak station. So there is no national park destination throughout the United States that is more conveniently accessible by train. There's the Grand Canyon too, as we saw, we are going up on the Grand Canyon Railroad, really with Glacier, um, you're being delivered by rail right onto the doorstep of one of the most beautiful and spectacular places throughout the US. So there you have it, Grand National Parks with the Yellowstone, Yosemite and Glacier National Parks. Once again, we have several of these Grand National Park itineraries. Um, there's a version of this itinerary that would take in Yellowstone, Yosemite and the Grand Canyon. So instead of traveling north from San Francisco up to Seattle, you'd be traveling south from San Francisco down to Los Angeles on the Coast Starlight train. And from there, you'd go into the Grand Canyon and then back to Chicago on the Southwest Chief. So it's a kind of a mirror image of this trip, um, taking in the Grand Canyon instead of Glacier. So lots of options for these grand two-week itineraries taking in the Highlight National Park attractions across the country. The next and final itinerary I wanna cover today is the Grand Rail Experience, which is a circumnavigation of the entire United States, traveling north across from Washington DC to Seattle, then going down the California coast and, and to Los Angeles, heading through the south back to New Orleans, and then up to Washington DC again on the Crescent train. We'll be traveling on Amtrak Superliner trains. These are those double-decker rail cars that you may be familiar with from having seen them in the local station in your hometown. And these are the trains that feature those sleeping accommodations for these grand epic overnight train journeys going across the country, typically from Chicago, uh, either into uh, Seattle, San Francisco, uh, or Los Angeles. You'll also be traveling on the Coast Starlight train, which is the uh, iconic Amtrak journey down the California coast or up the California coast, depending which direction you're doing it. Um, and the main attraction here is the incredible scenery. You're, you're traveling along the coast, hugging the coastline, which gives you access to these views and vistas and coastal landscapes that you wouldn't see from the highway or from any other vantage point. An overnight in Los Angeles, an included hop on hop off sightseeing tour to visit the iconic landmarks like the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Rodeo Drive, Universal Studios, and of course the Hollywood sign. Can't avoid, can't miss taking a photo of the Hollywood sign when visiting LA. And after your overnight in LA, it's on to the um, next leg of your journey, taking you over to New Orleans. Traveling through the south, um, in New Orleans, you'll have an included guided sightseeing tour taking you again throughout 
the city to see all the great attractions of the French Quarter, Jackson Square, the cities of the dead, as the famous New Orleans cemeteries are known, as well as uh, the bayous, of course, that New Orleans is most famous for. And while there, why not upgrade your hotel stay to the best address in New Orleans, the Hotel Monteleone, which has been described as um, the heart of the French Quarter, a venerable establishment that sits majestically at the foot of Royal Street, giving you the best point of departure for exploring all things New Orleans. From New Orleans, you're heading up on the Crescent Train for a two-night stay in Washington, D.C., and again, an opportunity to explore all of those highlights that, Washington, that D.C. has to offer. Actually included as a part of this itinerary, you have the Monuments by Moonlight Tour. Seeing those monuments illuminated in the evening is really the best way an absolutely spectacular experience, something I did recently with my children just before COVID on a trip down to DC, seeing all those incredible presidential memorials uh, lit up at night is something very, very special. Uh, and the, the guides that you have um, are fantastic. They're entertainers and they're a wealth of information, just a wonderful, wonderful experience, wonderful way to experience the nation's capital. So there you have it for the Grand Rail experience, two weeks. You have uh, six nights on board the train and city stays in Seattle, LA, New Orleans, and Washington, DC, a great way to take in the highlights of the country and see some of the uh, diverse scenery as you're going through the Northern Rockies, down the coast, through the South, a great way to really get a feel for your own country. We have it. Amtrak Vacations, our maximum flexibility offer currently in place, which allows you to cancel five days prior to your departure. This is, folks, if you're concerned about what your options are in the event of having to reschedule your vacation. We've all over the last two years experienced setbacks with our travel plans, and it's very important, I think, to know what your options are. You can cancel five days out. You would then receive a two-year future travel credit any funds on file you have towards your booking at the time of, of that you choose to cancel can be put to absolutely anything in any destination worldwide, anywhere the train goes. You can put that credit towards multiple new bookings. You can transfer it to another person if you so wish. Let's take a quick look before we conclude today at the experience on board with Amtrak. You can take two large suitcases, check them 45 minutes prior to departure, Classes of uh, accommodation on board include coach and uh, sleepers, a roommate or a bedroom. One of the advantages of upgrading to sleeper accommodation is you get private uh, boarding, separate priority boarding, so you're never congregating with a large group on the rail platform. In coach, you have a large reclining seat, lots of legroom, power outlets at your seat. Bear in mind, if you're traveling in coach accommodation on an overnight journey, you would be sleeping at your seat and also uh, your meals are not included. Only in the sleeping accommodations, the roommates and the bedrooms, do you have your three meals per day included in the fare. Among other amenities with uh, the sleeper compartments, you would have um, an, a uh, amenity package provided you with toiletries, as well as the services of a dedicated car attendant and coffee and bottled water available throughout your journey. You can't in overestimate the importance of that closable privacy door in the roommates and bedrooms. And you close that door behind you, you can remove your facial covering or your mask and relax um, and enjoy the scenery as you travel through the country. The entry level sleeper accommodation on Amtrak is the roommate. Here you have two large lounge chairs that convert overnight into bunk beds. No washroom facilities in the compartment itself. Those are private but shared down the hall at the end of the rail car. Again, very, very comfortable way to travel, total privacy, and a great adventure traveling overnight by rail uh, in your own private sleeping compartment. If you want to have private washroom facilities, then you would upgrade to a sleeper. In the sleeper, you have your uh, love seat and large chair that convert overnight into bunk beds. The bottom bunk bed, by the way, is 50% wider than the top one which is ideal for a couple traveling with a small child. The little one can easily share the bottom bed with uh, mom or dad. You have your, in, your ensuite washroom with shower, toilet, and vanity. 
And Amtrak has wheelchair accessible bedrooms as well. If you need that, please inquire well in advance because there is limited availability on the trains. Dining is fantastic on Amtrak. Um, you have flexible dining with a choice of menu options and you can have your meal delivered to you in the privacy of your own compartment. Folks, we do webinars every week at Amtrak Vacations uh, with a slightly different focus each time. Today, we've been looking at cross-country journeys. Next week, it's national parks and the week after the most popular getaways for traveling this year domestically in the US in 2021. That brings us to the end of today's webinar. Before we move into questions, I would like to ask something of all of you. If you wouldn't mind opening up your question box, great way to get prepared for the question portion of the webinar. And I would like to ask everybody, this is a great help to us at Amtrak Vacations, just to understand which destinations are resonating the most with our audiences on our webinars. If you wouldn't mind just typing quickly into the question box, which of the destinations we talked about today really kind of captured your imagination? Is it the Grand Canyon, Glacier National Park, New Orleans, Yosemite, San Francisco, those multinational park grand journeys that take you around to experience some of the iconic national park destinations or the round trip journey going throughout the United States? I'm just going to read some of these out to give you guys a sense of you know, what is resonating most amongst the audience today. Lots of Glacier National Parks, Yellowstone, Northern California, um, Yosemite, Grand Canyon coming up quite a lot. Um, Chicago over to Glacier on the Empire Builder, Grand Canyon. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that input with us, everybody. And with that, let's conclude with the questions. I'm sure there are a few questions that have come in, so I will open up, uh, return to that portion of the question panel here and answer everything that I can. Looks like there are quite a few questions, folks, so bear with us if we can. If you can, I, we're at 40 minutes. Uh, I know we may have exceeded the time for some of you, so if you need to leave us, fully understand, but I will be uh, answering as many of the questions as I can get to. Um, if we're traveling with a service dog, are there periodic stops? Absolutely, Stuart. Uh, you know, the train will never be going more than an hour or two without reaching uh, a station. So there will be stops for, um, for your dog to be able to, uh, to leave the train for, uh, for those washroom breaks. Uh, okay. Vicky's asking, will the webinar be available by, uh, by YouTube or on your website? Vicky, what we will do is share the link to the recorded version with you by email. Gail is asking, change trains in LA or elsewhere? Yes, Gail, you'll be changing the train um, you know, when you're switching from one Amtrak line to another, for example, from the Empire Builder to the Coast Starlight. So in Seattle, uh, you'd be you know, leaving the train. Also, if you're you know, doing an overnight stop in uh, one of the destinations, Salt Lake City, and going up to Yellowstone, uh, the, the train, you know, you'll be debarking the train and boarding uh, a different train. So you, you, you're going to be taking your things with you, your luggage with you when you when you leave the train. Um, Augustine is asking, if you don't have a partner, will you pay for a sleep room? Will you pay what couples pay? The um, accommodation on the train is booked by room, Augustine. So yes, your best bet then would be to book uh, a roommate, which is the entry level and the most economical form of sleeping accommodation on the train. Joan is asking, are extra pillows available? Certainly, Joan, Amtrak would, uh, would provide an extra pillow for you. Donna is asking, can we take a train from Syracuse? Um, Donna, you know, I don't, I'm not a great expert in the Amtrak network. Honestly, I would need to go back to that map that we showed in the beginning to see whether Syracuse is on the line. I believe it is. Um, but your Amtrak uh, vacations rail expert would be able to advise you of the nearest station to your hometown. Um, Barbara's asking, are service dogs allowed? Absolutely, Barbara. Um, Don is asking, we'd love to do a, a train across California from Syracuse, uh, uh, across, I imagine, to California from Syracuse. Again, 
we'd be able to advise you on the best routing for uh, for that. Are all your packages for sleepers or, it, or is it coach? You have to pay extra if you want a sleeper. Augustine is asking. Uh, all of our packages are priced and costed in coach accommodation. So all, all the pricing that you, that you see, Augustine, would be a from price. We would then advise you when you call in to inquire about a particular trip and uh, on the cost of upgrading to, to a sleeper. We do have several itineraries uh, going through the, the eastern United States, which are not on, on sleeper trains, which would be on the, um, on the commuter trains. Uh, that cover the um, the the uh, northeast corridor. Um, so, you know, not all the trains uh, even feature sleeping accommodation. The uh, the superliner trains, the sleeper trains, are mainly those that go west across the country from Chicago to Seattle, San Francisco, or Los Angeles. Vanessa says, "Can I use my points for these trips?" Absolutely. If you have Amtrak points, you just let us know, and we will, um, you know, we will. Factor that into your uh, to your cost, to your quotation uh, for the rail portion of your itinerary. Um, Sarah is asking. I know most of these trips originate from Chicago. I was wondering, was it possible to do one of these rail vacations from Salt Lake City? Sarah, absolutely. Um, although a lot of them start from Chicago, you know that just happens to be a hub for Amtrak, and it happens to be the starting point for several of those. Uh, iconic cross-country trips, the Empire Builder that goes over to Seattle through the Northern Rockies, the California Zephyr that goes through Colorado and Utah, and the Southwest Chief that goes across the country through that red rock scenery of uh, New Mexico and Arizona. Those all originate in Chicago. However, you know there are lots of other cross-country trains. There are the the uh, uh, the train that goes through the South from Los Angeles to New Orleans. Uh, there's the train that travels from New Orleans up to Washington, D.C., the, uh, the Crescent train, indeed, a whole network of routes. And we can start your vacation anywhere. If you're in Salt Lake, you want to travel over to San Francisco, we can do that. Up to Glacier uh, National Park, we can do that. And we will figure out the best routing to facil facilitate the specific itinerary that you have in mind. Um, All right, quite a few more questions. In light of COVID, Tammy is asking, what are meals like? Um, Tammy, um, Amtrak has modified the meal service on several trains as a result of COVID. In some cases uh, and at certain periods, um, the meals will be served to you in your room. You'll have private dining in your compartment in the event that Amtrak determines that it's not safe to have the dining car open. At the moment, my understanding is that on all of the trains that we mentioned today, uh, there is limited capacity in the dining area to ensure that social, social distancing can be observed in the dining car. So you will have staggered seatings in the dining car and every other table blocked off to make sure that there's some distance between the guests. However, the dining cars are open, so you can choose to have uh, dinner in the dining car for your meals or have them delivered to the privacy of your compartment. Guy is asking, what, are, what is the difference in price uh, between the different accommodations? Guy, you know, that will depend entirely on your specific itinerary, on the, on the specific train. Do you need to give us a call? And uh, our rail experts will advise you on exactly what the quote would be, what the, um, the the difference in price would be based on, you know, the, the the level of accommodation, be it a roommate and the hotel accommodation as well, if you want to upgrade any of those uh, hotels in your itinerary. If on a several day trip and switching venues, who takes care of the luggage? Any tips on luggage? Ray is asking. Uh, Ray, that's a good question. Amtrak enables you to bring two large suitcases. So there's no need to skimp from that point of view. They also have porterage at the station, so you can check your bag um, and you don't have to worry about carrying your own luggage on board the trains. However, there may be uh, times traveling from the station, for example, to your hotel where you would be responsible for your suitcases. There would be carts and things available at the station. Uh, so it shouldn't be too much of a bother. 
Uh, but bear in mind that these are independent trips and there may be certain uh, points through the itinerary you know, where, you, where, you, where you would have to carry your case from one point to another. Uh, so do keep that in mind with your packing. But as, in, as far as the, the luggage requirements, you can really big, bring, uh, you don't have to skimp, you don't have to restrict yourself whatsoever uh, with the trains. Um, how well maintained are the rail cars and rails? Improving infrastructure is a hot topic right now, Stephen is saying. Absolutely, Stephen, you may have noticed that uh, a huge new infrastructure um, investment has been, uh, has been approved by the new administration. And uh, there will be millions of dollars, uh, perhaps billions of dollars of new investment in Amtrak, in the rails and the rolling stock over the coming you know, 10 to 20 years. However, when that actually comes into play uh, is difficult to say, and we don't really have a sense of any immediate uh, big changes that are going to be implemented. Is there a big difference in a sleeper room from coach? Lisa is asking. Absolutely. In coach, you have a seat. It's a very large, comfortable reclining seat with lots of leg room, but it's not private. It's in an open carriage. And um, you also don't have a bed uh, with any of the sleeping compartments. It's a full lie flat bed um, and a seat by day, and it's completely private. And your three meals are included in your fare as well. Uh, Bob is asking, can one take a break in the middle of the trip, say a week off to rent a car for a side trip? Absolutely, Bob. We can totally do that. Um, you could do uh, um, a kind of a before and after in one itinerary with uh, a week where we, we're not handling any of your arrangements and we could, you know, we could take care of the rail and some of the hotels before that trip and after that trip. Um, absolutely, that's totally within uh, the realm of what we can do at Amtrak Vacations. Um, when sleeping in a roommate, is there a lock on the door, Ray is asking. The uh, sleepers lock from the inside, but not from the outside. So you have all that you know, security and peace of mind in the compartment. When you're outside of your compartment, perhaps exploring the train, the observation car, the lounge car, the dining car, you should take anything of great value with you. However, there's really not a lot of problem with any kind of pilferage on the Amtrak uh, sleeper trains. The cabin attendants are patrolling the aisles and uh, looking after all the compartments in the area that they're responsible for. And you know, you're know, you not seeing things being stolen or pilfered. It's really something that hardly ever, if ever, comes up. However, if you've got valuables, things of great value, you know, take them with you when you go to the observation car. Um, Amanda is asking, what type of accommodations would you recommend for two adults and a teenager? Honestly, the best for that, Amanda, would be to ensuite two bedrooms. So you can remove the compartment between two bedrooms, giving you uh, a kind of a suite with uh, four bunk beds and two complete washrooms. Does the roomette have a toilet and shower? John is asking, no. The roomettes just have the seats and you have your toilets and showers down the hall, private but shared at the end of the rail car. Uh, Elizabeth, you mentioned couples a lot, but what about single travelers? Elizabeth, absolutely, we have a lot of single travelers. You know, with Amtrak, your best bet if you want a sleeper would be to go for a roomette. With other rail operators, there are uh, accommodations designed specifically for singles. Like up here in Canada, we have cabins for one on Via Rail, which is a single seat uh, that converts overnight into a lie flat bed at ground level. So it really depends, but absolutely. Uh, we will always accommodate singles and figure out the best way to put the itinerary in, together for a single traveler to make sure that you get the best possible uh, value. Kathy's asking, are the trains from San Francisco across the country? Absolutely. The California Zephyr travels between San Francisco and Chicago. Uh, it's a wonderful route, incredibly scenic. You're going um, through the Rocky Mountains of uh, Colorado, really one of the most scenic stretches of rail. Uh, in the entire country. Kitty is asking, do you know when the Canadian routes will open? At the moment, unfortunately, the border is still closed. We're under quite a severe uh, set of lockdown restrictions in Canada due to a COVID third wave. However, vaccinations are ramping up and we're hoping that the you know things will improve and the border will open in the summer, possibly late summer, fall, um, 
is you know what 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 we predict at this point in time. Can coach seats access the dining car? Yes, they can. However, you would be paying for your meals on board in the dining car if you're booked in coach. Are the meals full hot meals or pre-packaged in microwaves? Tammy is asking. Actually, no, Tammy. They're prepared fresh by the onboard chefs using fresh ingredients. Um, Sarah is asking on the map of the rails, are there different colors? Yes, that is available. Uh, on our website, I think you can get a, a great uh, map or on the Amtrak website itself, showing the various different trains uh, with, that, uh, with those color coded uh, route maps. Um, are vaccinations required to board the train? Joanne is asking. No, they're not, Joanne. Um, you know, you, you, there, there are uh, COVID safety measures required. Mask wearing is required, but not, not vaccinations traveling for Americans traveling domestically in the United States. Is there a bar car? Uh, alcoholic beverages are available for purchase on board, Anthony, and you can also bring your own booze on board if you have your private sleeper. You're welcome to enjoy alcoholic beverages in the privacy of your own compartment if you're in a roommate or a bedroom. Folks, those are all the questions we can get to this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Thank you for all the great questions and for your interest and your engagement. We hope to welcome you on a rail journey in the US with Amtrak Vacations um, this year in 2021 or in the future. In the meantime, please stay safe out there, everyone. Take good care. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks again and have a great evening.